We'll have a look at a new feature called Advanced Hull. We'll switch to SolidWorks and on the screen we have a manifold block which has a number of holes running through it. If we look at the tree on the left hand side you can see that we have lots of different advanced holes already created. We'll section the model and have a look at one of these advanced holes. So we'll just go in and edit the feature. Now the advanced hole behaves very similarly to the hole wizard. You choose the type of hole you want, the face that you want to place it on, and you, you then use the positions tab to position it wherever you want it. Now what's different in here is essentially you start building up a stack of holes. So for our first stack, you can see here we have a 25 diameter by two mil deep hole, followed by a tapered tap, half inch, followed by a 15 diameter hole, 15 mil deep. We can use these controls here to insert additional elements into our stack, or alternatively, we can go ahead and we create a far side stack. If I toggle on the option to create a far side stack, first thing it asks me for is the face or plane that we want to put this on. We'll choose this face here, and immediately we see a preview of a hole. We can choose the size of that hole. So for this one, I'm going to go nine diameter. And we'll go up to the next element so it terminates on that yellow face there. We can then use these controls here to insert additional elements. So I'm going to insert another element here. And this element, rather than being a standard hole, we're going to choose a different type. So you see here we can choose from counterbore, countersunk, taper tap, hole, or straight tap. We're going to have a taper tap here. And again, we're going to make that half inch 25 deep. We can now add another element in here so it can go below or above the active element. Or alternatively, if we want to delete an element out, we can select the element and delete it. We're going to insert another element. This time it's going to be a hole and it's going to be 25 diameter by two deep like so. When we're happy with how the stack looks, we press OK and it creates the hole for us. Now one of the things that you're likely to want to do if you're doing this work all the time is rather than having to create those stacks each time you go into the feature, you want to be able to access them with ease. And to do that we can use our favourites tool to to allow us that, that option. If we go in and edit this hole here, you'll see at the top, much like the hole wizard, we have a favorite dialog, and then within there, you'll see that I've saved away various favorites, and as I toggle through those favorites, you can see it's changing the stacks and the size of the holes to match what was saved within those favorites. When you're happy with your choice, again, you just hit the green tick to confirm your selection.